coworkers. How stupid are our coworkers? That's coming right. up for us. The Tuesday Takeover is back. It's an opportunity for each person who works on the show to do a segment that they've been thinking about or talking about or wanting to do without having to run it by anybody. Usually mm-hmm. it's uh, more by committee. Yes. But uh, this time you get to do whatever you want. Uh, the only marching order is that you do something that you think will be not self-serving, but more something that will be entertaining or interesting to the audience at large. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, that's coming up with Bort this hour. Woody, I do have a little nugget for you. Now, in nugget. just a couple <laughs> days, the Frasier reboot oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. premieres on mm-hmm. Paramount+. Plus. Right. And honestly... I have been seeing very positive reviews for it. Really? And with, like, I saw one in Variety. I saw one in The Hollywood Reporter, Entertainment Weekly. Because, as you said, when they put, like, that first trailer out, you yeah. took a look, and you're, like, underwhelmed big I was. Time. I was kind of disappointed. And I feel like all the reviewers felt that way, too. And so then when they watched the episodes that were sent to them by Paramount+, Plus, they're like, oh, wow. This is way better than we expected it to Where be. Where are my screeners? Yeah. Wasn't well, <laughs> Kelsey Grammer like somewhere crying about it? I, I saw that in the news. There was I, like, didn't, yeah. see that. I, didn't, I didn't see that. Yeah. But they said, <laughs> the review in Variety said the change in location, because it moves back to Boston. Right. The change in jobs. I guess he's working at a school now. Like, okay. Or a college. Uh, sure. Um, I don't know. All of that, all of these changes really serve the reboot really well. Okay. Uh, how do you get on these lists, by the way, for screeners? I'm a member um, of the media. Yeah, just <laughs> don't say you work for the Woody Show. And what? Then you get whatever you want. Uh, no, you know we what I mean? run everyone the wrong way to the point where we can't get a screener. No, yeah, for you, anything. You get honestly, access to nothing. Yeah, you know why? Yeah. And, and that is actually the case because- You're your um, own worst enemy, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I would rather just have to wait to watch it, honestly, because- the reason that people get sent those things is because these are the people who will suck up and say nice things. That's true. Regardless. That's true. And so we are known for, like, if something is not that good, we go, mm, no, no, it wasn't that good. And they don't want that. True. So we don't get invited to the things that these other people are getting invited to. We don't uh, get the, the – every once in a while we'll get a screener for something or whatever. But, um, yeah, y'all would think that, uh, yeah, the Frasier one, I'm going to be more of an apologist for Frasier just because it holds such a good mm-hmm. right. dear but place be, in my heart. But because we have such a reputation, people yes, are yes, going to yes. say, oh, but they do like Frasier, so yeah. let's give them that one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> let's give them special <laughs> Frasier <laughs> stuff. I told you. I, well, I, if you have dumb stuff, we're, we're going to say you got dumb stuff. Well, but they don't I don't like that. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm fine. In the grand scheme, if I had to pick one or the other, yeah. I would take rather would being take able to sit here. an honest review. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather be able to sit here and, and talk about something honestly and authentically right. than than have to like toe some line because somebody gave you uh, uh, access a free, to the first five yeah. apps, a free popcorn <laughs> and yeah. a screener. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told you, Woody. I have a new tactic that I'm gonna put a different show in the subject line. Oh, whenever I <laughs> schedule, whenever I schedule interview yeah. roulettes, I never put the Woody show. No, because yeah. that's oh, an instant no. Google mm, kill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just put, you know, a producer for <laughs> iHeart. <laughs> like, oh, I know that company. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, how many, uh, how many pictures of you are up at different places that you're never allowed back again, C. Bassett? Right. I mean, yeah, exactly. I, you, for I different reasons. Change my last name. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so banned. So banned. The Fraser yeah. thing. The the premise. He's like back with his son or something. He's well, no, his right. son's his son. adult now. Yeah, he's trying yeah. to. You know, he's trying to have more of a relationship. Forge a with relationship. His son. Yeah. He has right. a new gang of characters that hang out with him and do cool Neat. stuff. Neat. Have little adventures. I want, who are the writers? Are they the same? Let's see. Some of the That's writers a good question. from the original. I don't know if they're the same writers or not. Th- I mean, that writing was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why they've got shelves yeah. full of Emmys. Yep. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. Hit us up with a text over to two two nine eight seven. Bort is just champing at the bit. He's ready to go. Totally. To tear so. down our coworkers. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. me. Like, I've done a lot of dumb stuff recently. Okay. See, I did know you were acting a little nervous. Greg usually acts a little nervous. Well, look, this time. I know, I'll own my dumb stuff. <laughs> okay, here's a question. Dumb. Compared so, to yeah. anything Bort does, I am the, the dumbest. So, how does this work? Not you. Is this going to be like a game? Or is this yeah, just you just... rattling off dumb stuff that coworkers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. I could do that. Here's the list. Uh, I yeah. mean, that would take like three hours, possibly. Yeah. We do like have the a, time. Yeah, is there a method to this? Like, what yeah. are we doing? So this is an in-studio game. So I'm going to go through about eight or nine different stories, uh, real factual stories that I've been told or have been a part of in the building or different buildings, possibly. And I'm going to give you a multiple choice selection. You decide what the proper answer would be for each, each incident. Okay. Okay. All right. All so right. we're going to try that. It's the Tuesday takeover, the return of. Bort is first up. This is the uh, segment that he wants to do. 
And uh, we hope we're going to find it entertaining. We're going to, uh, I'm sure, learn some things we didn't even know about mm-hmm. yeah. our, uh, our co-workers, our, our comrades. Right. <laughs> you know, worst case, I get in trouble and I'm not allowed back in the building. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, we, uh, we did this for a long time and then we gave it a rest. But now the Tuesday takeover is back. And uh, so here for the next handful of weeks, each week will be a different person who works here on the show. Could be some uh, behind the scenes people. Although, who's really kind of behind the scenes? Nobody here on the show. Yeah. I mean, everybody's got their uh, their role and their thing that they do or they're responsible for. Uh, Bort comes in every once in a while. To talk uh, Star Wars or wrestling. <laughs> True. Or baby metal or aliens yes. or aliens. Yep, yeah, that's aliens. Bigfoot. Uh, yeah, all that kind of stuff. How are your, uh, how's your guinea pig, by the way? Uh, my guinea pig is doing fine. Thank you a, very much. He had a guinea pig emergency the other night. Yep. Where I guess the guinea pig started uh, wheezing. Oh, no. And yeah. then he had to try to find uh, like an emergency vet who handles small animals. Well, exotic pets, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's an exotic easy. pet? Yeah, it's considered exotic pet. Like a guinea a, pig? Yeah. yeah, same thing with birds. They're oh. considered exotic pets. It's just that most vets don't have the knowledge to take care of those kind of animals. They'll just kind of treat them like they would a dog or cat, which means they'll probably not survive. So right? in the middle of the oh. night, he had to drive like an hour plus. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, over 80 just miles. To, 80 miles just to Jeez. get to like an emergency vet. But um, yep. so, what was the problem? Too many cigarettes? Uh, yeah, no. Right. Uh, see, too, they weren't. Too, too many guinea pig orgies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too they much were, origin. They weren't yeah. too sure. They did x-rays. They didn't see anything in the lungs, so they said it was either uh, upper respiratory infection, which could be deadly, or it could be a chronic sinusitis disease. Oh my so God. either way, treating for both, $700 later, Ooh. here wow. we are. Oh, my God. But she's doing good, so I'm very grateful right. for that. Worth it. Well, uh, totally, actually. Oh, well, get ready for Bort to stab Seabass right through the throat. <laughs> uh, I've never seen Bort take anything more seriously than he does his, uh, his pets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More so than Star Wars, right? Any, any of that stuff. Babies. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm uh, aware. They give us unconditional love. Like, why would you not want to yeah. protect them and love them? All right. So, uh, Bort's Tuesday Takeover. All right. So, we are going to play a game in studio. It's called How Stupid Are Our Coworkers? How <laughs> stupid, How are, stupid they? are they? And the whole preface of this is everybody has stupid coworkers that drive them crazy on the daily, right? Everyone can relate to it. Whether you're on your way to work or you're listening to the podcast or streaming the show right now from wherever you're at. You have a stupid coworker that you're like, you know what? This person drives me crazy. I'm not looking forward to going to work today. Well, maybe this will have you feel a little bit better. Maybe you can relate. Maybe, you know, we all deal with the same thing, or maybe we have it worse than you do. <laughs> okay, so you're going to give us the scenario, so whatever happened, right. and then you're going to give us a uh, multiple choice kind of thing? Or? Yes, right. exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll go through these and uh, see how many we have time for. All right, what's the first one? First one, this is an email situation saying, the microwave is malfunctioning. It operates with the door open. That is a serious health hazard, I do believe. I assume if the microwave is open and somebody's standing near it, that their brain will be cooked, or at least warmed up. Thanks. Now, who was this email sent to? Was it sent to the office manager to make them aware? Was it sent to maintenance to get repairs done? Or was it sent to the accounting department? <laughs> <laughs> accounting department. Yes, wow. it went to accounting. And this happened here? Yep. Really? And Does it's the able microwave to work? Yeah, I mean, that's, the microwave works obviously before? malfunctioning if it's right. able to do that. I can see our yeah. microwaves doing that. Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. I have and tested melting it. Melting people's oh, really? brains. It <laughs> does work. All right. It's on the floor below us. Well, maybe it melted their brain and they sent it to accounting, is my guess. Accounting. Uh, let's say accounting. Yeah, accounting. I'll guess uh, what was the engineering? The, is that what you said? Because the other two make sense. And the, the office manager. And if it's downstairs, it's right near a camera. Maintenance. So right. yeah. The well, office just... manager makes sense. I would say that they sent it to maintenance, though. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how to send things to maintenance. I have a thousand things I want to send to them, but I don't oh, yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, you usually right? send but it to the office manager. Yeah. But they, we don't have one of those. It's called yeah. a trouble ticket, and you can submit it on your laptop right now. But no. they sent it to accounting. Of course. <laughs> and nobody ever sees a trouble ticket. Yeah, yeah right. trouble tickets go to a different state, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> yeah, my favorite was when there was uh, something that happened, and they sent somebody to fix it after it had already been fixed. But it was through a third-party outside company on a weekend, and they showed up, and we just oh, had yeah. to send them away because, like, well, this is already fixed. Yeah, uh, was that the door situation or the, the elevator door. situation? One of the two. <laughs> we had yeah. Yeah. definitely oh, not yeah. the elevator because it's been broken for two weeks. <laughs> uh, the dishwasher. <laughs> Yeah. Like yeah, the, the, there's nobody. Yeah. The right hand is not talking to the left hand. This nope. yeah. sucks. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, what's the next one? All right. This is a situation. 
This employee's webcam will not work and can't connect to their Teams meeting, mm. which is how everybody communicates. Sure. Yeah. Studios of the future. Can I just buzz in and say whole building? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After trying everything, they called IT. What was the issue? Was it a program issue? Was it an internet outage? Or was the lens shutter closed? <laughs> oh, oh, oh uh, lens shutter closed. Huh. Uh, <laughs> and for extra points, Gregory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bonus point, Greg. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've tried no. everything, but it's still black. Nothing ever works it's for me. Fun. I will say this, though. When we have those meetings, we call it Teams, not Zoom. Yeah. Ravies mm. and my microphones yeah, don't work. Yeah, our mics don't work. And they never mm. have, so we just do it on the phone. Mm. Oh, I can fix that for you. Yeah. That'd be great. great. Yeah. I'll put in a trouble Actually, ticket. To accounting. Yes. <laughs> yes. To yeah. accounting. Send it to accounting. Oh, obviously, somebody's yeah. shutter was so, closed. Yeah, someone will show up from San I'll let our security guard yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Their Con- lens shutter was closed. Uh, no. uh, oh, got to contact uh, janitorial for yep. that one. Yep. Okay. How okay. stupid are our coworkers? All right, the next one. This is a special one. This employee's tablet charger is overheating and sparking. Ooh. It's about to start a fire in their residence in these trying times. Oh, boy. Now, who did they call? Did they call the fire department? Did they call building management? Or did they call the IT department? Uh, hmm. uh, IT department. I would hit up IT, but that makes too much sense. Fire department. They called the, the fire department. Yeah, they called 911. Because it was sparking. They overreacted. Mm-hmm. They called the fire department. Yeah. They called the IT department, oh. which they weren't even the same building in. <laughs> yeah, but at like. Home. Right. Was it their right. personal pad or was it the work one? It doesn't matter. It's doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. You just unplug it and then <laughs> unplug call it. Unplug it, yeah. I'll unplug it and then call IT. Oh, and they didn't unplug it either. So, oh, good. Go. <laughs> we worked with somebody, this is years ago, but we worked with somebody uh, when everybody first started getting laptops. I know we've, we've told this story before. Uh, there was a saleswoman who hit up the IT department and they wanted to know what website they needed to go to to charge the laptop. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. I do. You remember that? Yeah. Also, this guy, this guy who was the yeah. IT guy, he had stories yeah. for days yeah. about just how dumb people were. Yeah. Also, what website do I go to charge my laptop? Uh, we charge had a coworker oh. that was so dumb that thought they had a laptop with no battery. Oh, yeah. That person's mm. in this room. Ravy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm like, why do you need to have it plugged in? No, because I don't have a battery no in this battery laptop. In this thing. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, really? Then There's come show no me where it is. I stopped over at her house after the show, and I'm like, you mean what this one? Fixed it. <laughs> he fixed it. He brought he brought a battery over. This yeah. is why I do these segments. I don't even have to do half of it. I just am the catalyst for you guys just unloading yeah, yeah, yeah. on each other. It's great. All right. How stupid are your coworkers? Okay. And a coworker has requested some files from another coworker. They sent the request over a group chat weeks ago. After not receiving the files after a couple weeks, how did they respond? Did they email the person a reminder for the requested files? Did they walk over to their office to follow up and request the files? Or did they complain to their boss that they didn't get the files and were being ignored? Oh, mm. I know this one. Which one did Seabass do? <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, this one. This just happened last week. Wow. That's yeah. always a good, perfectly reasonable explanation for all that. <laughs> <laughs> so Seabass complained to the boss? Yeah. Well, a boss. This one. Yeah. Say, I'll say right to next to us. Yeah. Well, we were talking, we were having a meeting about like uh, different things, and uh, he goes, hey, um, can we like maybe develop like some kind of better system? I, I don't know these things go on. And then I asked Ford to come in. We talked about it, and I guess like Seabass yeah. sent a request, and then easy, yeah. yeah. And I said you could Just get handle. your ass up and come to my office and say, hey man, can you send these to me? That's it. Very easy. How stupid are our coworkers? They can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or email. To explain a little bit better, the system we'd been using for literally years was suddenly not working. So I was discussing ah. with Woody and Sammy, the yeah, executive Sammy producer. Yes. Hey, yep. what's the best way to do to get this yeah. done so it doesn't mm. fall through the cracks again? Yeah. Uh, Problem solved. Operations manager. Problem Great. Solved. Okay. Cool. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I don't even work here, guys. I, <laughs> I intentionally picked this nice, soothing music for it because I, <laughs> I didn't want to amp up Bort anymore. It's almost like someone's a little pissy. Well, to to be for me to join Bort side right now, probably a couple weeks earlier to that, CBS had done the same thing, and we had told him how to solve it, what to do, send an email, all the things, and then he didn't do that the next time around, and then was complaining again over the same thing, hmm. over the problem we already solved. It's like he doesn't listen. That's uh, hmm. Hmm. Is that what? Hmm. That's inaccurate. Inaccurate. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> all I'm saying is it worked perfectly with that uh, that Cameron guy. Hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> this head of a department has an important meeting with the entire division. 
but his computer will not respond, causing chaos as the division meeting was not able to start on time until engineering resolved the issue. What was the issue? Was it a broken HDMI cable? Was it a hard drive failure? Ooh. Or was the power on the computer off? <laughs> no <laughs> way. It has to be power off. Oh my god. The other ones are, make too much sense. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, power off. Power yeah. off? Uh, reminder, we work with these people. Oh, oh wow. I know. The power was off. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. That's so Jeez. 1990. Oh. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, you know, whenever something is not working, they go, are you sure it's uh, connected yeah. to the power? Yeah. Some right. German guys like, is it plugged in? Is it turned it off? Yeah. Have you tried to reboot? Turn it mm -hmm. off. Unplug it from the power source. Wait 30 seconds and then restart it again. Exactly. Wow. Oh, God. Uh, uh, how much? So we got a little time? Yeah, give me, uh, give me one more. One more. Okay. Your favorite of all the ones oh. that are left. Your favorite one. Oh, man. Okay, let's go with this one. All right. This was a phone call situation. A coworker is having internet issues. They call for help stating, there's no internet in the building. Our laptops won't work. There's nothing we could do. How do we get internet? Who did they call? Did they call the on-call engineer? Did they call the 24-7 IT support line? Or did they call Bort? <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one? I think I, I think I know this one too. Yeah, oh. I know this one. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they called you Bort. Yeah. How's the whole building doesn't have internet? <laughs> well, I recall that happens. somewhat the recently. The internet goes down here. Well, I, uh, I heard this as soon as I walked in the door because everybody's running around with their you know, yeah. heads yeah. on fire. <gasps> and I uh, just logged out of my computer and I was on immediately. Mm. Yeah. So I, I was like, well, it's clearly not out in the entire building. I'm not sure what's going on. But yeah, they called Bort. <laughs> That's exactly what Sammy did. She uh, called Bort. I wow. <laughs> I call Bort for everything. I do too. Well, if I have she a does. technical question, you <laughs> yeah. would be yeah, the first person. I would have called you too, Bort. True. Because that, you're right there. True. That was the call this yeah. morning. I can't get a hold of somebody on the phone. What do I do? <laughs> 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 call Bort. I have the phone number. Yeah. So. All right. Well, uh, oh, if I have any technical questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Bort. Yeah, Bort knows where all mm. the bodies are buried around here. Yeah. That is for sure. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I do. Because everybody comes and tells me everything. You know, because it's funny. Like, uh, there was a problem with the air conditioning. Oh, so yeah. And it was like a million degrees in here. Yeah. Bort's like, let me see if I can go reset it. He even knows where to go for that. Jeez, yeah. Bort. <laughs> That's what? what I do. Sorry, the only thing I can't do is fix the coffee machine. That's it. Yeah. How about the elevator? I know. Or the coffee that's broken every day. Yeah. yeah. Can't, can't oh, do those. Yeah. All Wish right, well, Bort, nice machine. work. Thank you. Yeah. I always love hearing about uh, stupid complaints. So uh, dumb. I got right. plenty more anytime. Yeah. All right, give me one more. Give me one more. Okay, okay. Ooh, right. okay. One more. <laughs> bonus. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Bonus one. This is actually a bonus one. Also, this is like kind of like therapy for Bort, too. He does feel yeah. better after he unloads. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was a major office issue. Speaking of which, the water supply for the coffee machine is not running. Oh, no. Exactly. not to work. Do they go downstairs to the other coffee machine? Yes. Do they walk over to the front desk to report the issue? Or did they go downstairs and ask IT to go fix the plumbing? <laughs> go fix the plumbing in the building. Yeah. Which one did they do? Uh, IT? What's IT? IT? No, tell, don't nice. tell me IT. Uh, bonus. That would be the last people I think our, about. Our security guards, who are apparently are nonverbal, we can report stuff. <laughs> we can report stuff. Dude, I see Actually, them like yes, doing can. stuff all the time. Really? <laughs> they do yeah. everything here. They like yeah. do all the snacks and stuff. Yeah, oh, Greg and that's I, what Metis reports: <laughs> lack of snacks. Yeah, that's what else to do. Hey, Greg, mm -hmm. let's recreate. Like when we walk out of the building. Okay. We do this every time. Who's gonna be who? You, you be uh, can you I be, be the guy. I'll be the guy. I'll be the guy behind. Okay, old guy. Other guy just kind of like half-ass waves, doesn't say a word. You might have to turn the music down. All right, so like. Uh, yeah, Greg and I'll be walking on and go. All right, fellas, have a good day. It's just Mr. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, nonverbal. Ha have a great weekend. It's <laughs> Mr. <laughs> and Ravy says, No, he doesn't. Yeah. He totally oh, does. Totally, at least with Greg and I. Yeah. I just, uh, we do it now just to see if he'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, we'll never hear this because he doesn't listen to our stage. I just say, <laughs> uh, Bye, yeah. Sam. That's it. Yeah. Right, that's why we so, call him Mumbles. Uh -huh. This person clearly hit up IT to see if they could fix the plumbing. They hit up IT. They were staring them dead in the oh. face. Oh, wow. Wow. Is shut it nice. still broken? It's still broken. No. It's too far uh. to go to the other floor for coffee. Damn yeah. it. And shout out to our boy Dave for not losing his ish at that moment. <laughs> All right, well, that's how you play uh, How Stupid Are Your Coworkers. I'm seeing yeah. some people on the text saying, you know what? 
pretty good. I am the quick fix co-worker everybody asked their IT questions to before calling actual IT. <laughs> also, people like, man, it's this is like making court. me feel so much better about my stupid co-workers from the 805. Oh, good. That's the uh, whole point. Right.